And I can't tell you, begin to tell you how proud I am of you. Not just for your prowess on the basketball court, um, but as being a leader on campus for our younger class, our, our younger students, uh, being a leader on campus for where everyone can see what hard work, determination, not just in the court, but in the classroom, where it gets you. Because you can't get here without doing it in the classroom. Uh, I try to tell all our students that student athletes that you're Court appearances, your field appearances may open the door, but it's your grades that puts your butt in the seat. Uh, so, because of what you did academically, is what you what got you here. The courts got their attention, but your grades got you the scholarship. So, congratulations. Right, and, and again, we are extremely proud of you. Uh, to mom and dad, thank you guys so much for letting him be a part of our community. Uh, I know we've had some rough moments here in time, uh, but we made it through. And, uh, and he's developed, definitely developed and matured. Uh, where's Coach Walker? I'm going to ask Coach Walker to come and say a few words, and then I'm going to open it up to uh, any of the teammates that want to say something. Then we'll go to Mom and Dad or any other family members, and then we'll have the signing. All right, Nick? And then you'll finish up after the signing. Uh, just to piggyback off what Coach just said, uh, best way I can say it is, Nick, you took the stairs. Uh, nothing was given to you uh, freshman sophomore year. It wasn't a talent issue. It was a maturity issue. So uh, to see you grow and develop into the young man you became is a super proud moment for me as a coach. Uh, I've heard about you knowing a bunch of like fifth, sixth grade. You scoring 40 points in whatever school you was at. So again, it wasn't a talent issue. Uh, it was just maturity, developing into a young man that you become. And uh, I think what a lot of people don't realize is the work you put in over the pandemic showed on the court. Uh, you didn't take many days off. Um, you've earned everything you've gotten. Um, league MVP, league champion, tournament champion, uh, second team All-State. Um, Great to you all your hard work. All right? Pleasure to have you. Uh, you'll meet you in the program, but you set the bar pretty high for these young guys. Basketball. I got conned into being the basketball coach. <laughs> and I'm not surprised we're here today because, like Coach Walker just alluded to, his talent was never a question. He was always head and shoulders above all the other kids in his age group, and even a few of the older kids as well. The problem I had with Nick was, was keeping him in control. <laughs> now, you talked about running all over school. Just imagine when you're seven running off the school instead of 17. <laughs> but finally, I got him to pay attention from time to time. And he would get on the court and he would do his thing. And he was always a leader. And I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Um, I'd like to thank everybody, uh, Coach Walker, thank you, the teammates, um, thank you for this past year, right? You'll never forget it, 24-3, and three, league championship, Los Angeles, you'll, you'll never forget that. Your, your bonds will last forever. Uh, son, I'm very proud of you. 
Uh, this is just the beginning, right? It's just, it's just a baby step. So we're going to keep on moving, keep on growing. Uh, enjoy your times, right? You never know what's behind the next door in life. Don't take anything for granted. Just be ready. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. I'm going to try to get through this. I'm so proud of my son. I am so proud of him. We have really come full circle in terms of us getting along. There were times that we and his dad agreed that we were going to pull him out because we didn't think that he was carrying his weight the way he was supposed to at the school and the administrators agreed. And then we said, well, let's just give him one more try, one more try. And then he just spin around because he knew that he was going to be pulled out of here. I remember when he was three years old, I got him like a, a, a basketball hoop in our backyard, and he never left that backyard. If the ball was bouncing morning and day, Mark, he would be over there. And the only way that I can get him in is to use a restroom or have some lunch. I didn't realize the impact of it back then, and that's when he was like three years old, I would say. He would never leave. He would, he would stay in that backyard literally all day. And Brian set him up for, um, at, at three years old in Pleasant Hill, they had basketball running around for three-year-olds. But again, just not knowing the impact all of that had on him at that time. And I just want to let you know that I am so proud of you. And I'm so glad that we're friends now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have really went full circle. And now we're, we're BFFs. And I love you. And I'm so proud of you. You gotta sign. Let's, let's sign for Nick. Sign first, and then, then you have your words. So, hey Nick, so fake like you're signing and look up first, so we get pictures. All right, so you're gonna fake sign, don't sign, but then just look up. So get your cameras ready, right? So those of you that want to take pictures, just. coming and that's, that's so that's so everybody Nick we really appreciate your again your support so we rang man we're rooting for you once a brewing always a brewing all right